All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we are back to Animal Crossing. It has been quite a while since I've streamed, and this is also gonna be like an update video that will go up on YouTube of my progression uh, since the last video that I put on YouTube and the last stream that I did, because I have made quite a bit of progress in Animal Crossing. Yes, I do have money trees, if you guys can see it in there, but uh, there's a lot of progress that I have made. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mama Oxus, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I hope I pronounce your name right. I appreciate it. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I want to get into and showcase uh, the museum since the last video. Uh, a lot of general things with my house and my, my general progress with Tom Nook and my village, my villagers or lack thereof. Uh, there's just a lot of things that I have done and I haven't done. So I think the best way to, to showcase that is to just jump in and show. Hey, LaBelle's here. Nice. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, what a day. It's 5.09. Yeah, I'm also playing this really late in the afternoon, so I'm planning on streaming for maybe four or five hours. So, daily life in Menagerie as usual. Uh, nothing too different here. I just paid off my most recent house, so I believe I have the second floor. So I have my first floor, I have the three rooms on the base floor, and I'm pretty sure you get a second floor and you get a basement. I don't really know. This is my first time being in my house since the, oh yeah, I have a window, an upstairs window. Nice. Okay, so this is the first time I'm actually, okay, I was actually wondering where they're gonna put the stairs. So first and foremost, this is the first time y'all are probably looking at my house uh, since the last time I streamed. Uh, so this is my first floor here. I've actually been really good with uh, the Happy Home Academy. I have the Bronze Award and the Silver Award as well. I have a few KK Slider albums up on my wall here. I really like the floor, like the, the like the carpet that I have placed right, like not the blue one, but the like the one I'm walking on right now, like the flooring. Um, the thing about this game, and I'm gonna be straight up with you guys about it. I am not really super keen or focused on like decor like decorating and deciding what's gonna go where and what i'm gonna buy now and decorate now like i honestly feel like i'm not going to focus on what my island looks like until i have everything like once i get terraforming then i'll start caring about what my island looks like what my house looks like what my character looks like etc etc um and that's just because of that like this was kind of like the minimal effort i put into the game as i was playing but then the events and things that i was doing kind of took center stage so this is my second room here as you can tell really bad condition i have like mixed up flooring with the mixed up wallpaper i got some more kk bangers up there uh tota tango um two boys <laughs> Gotta love KK. I have the two DSs there, the which those cost a lot of bells in the in the Nook shop. The the I think the Nintendo like the the Animal Crossing one costs like thirty thousand, then the regular one costs twenty nine thousand bells. So that's the upstairs. Uh, I mean the furthest room. Uh, this one is super random for no reason. I got like a random stove. I got a cake. Uh, I have a globe, a panda bear, a work desk where, where my homework is, and some more KK slider. Uh, albums KK Space, KK Slider Jazz, KK Love Song, KK Rock, KK Samba. So I'm trying to collect all of the KK albums if you guys haven't realized it by now. I didn't realize how influential he was because uh, I like I said I, I only played Hello again. I only played Wild World and I didn't really make that much progress to even really get KK, you know what I mean, or have like that that kind of connection with him. KK Slider really was like uh, a factor for me in terms of like his presence in Super Smash Brothers because if you play um, on the Animal Crossing stage at night, you can hear KK Sliders like singing his songs while while the characters are destroying each other. Katsuki, thank you so much for subbing for one year. You joined the Yang Gang, uh, the the Yang Bang. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit, this room is huge. Wow, this is a really nice room, and I have windows from end to end wow this is actually way bigger than i thought i thought it was well it's longer it's like wider i thought it was going to be relatively the same size as downstairs and then the basement i thought was going to be the same thing too so another room that i <laughs> have to figure out how i'm the hell i'm going to furnish it and then i assume that the basement door is going to be right there like so you're going to have a stairs going up and a stairs going down so that's basically my house in a nutshell Excuse me, nothing too different. Um, here's one thing that I want to show you. I am an absolute 
animal. Holy shit, my inventory space doubled. It was maxed out at 400, and I'm at 397 out of four. Oh, you guys can't see it because of my webcam, but I'm at 397 out of 800 now. Thank God, because I'm an absolute pack rat in this game. Like, I don't like throwing away anything. I feel like everything... Well, first off, I need to get rid of all of these bugs, and I need to update my... um. I need to update my museum as well. So that's a reason why I haven't sent most of these to the museum yet. I wanted to wait until I streamed again, just so I can show you guys the progress of what I've made and what I've done and what I've gotten. Same thing with like my fossils. <laughs> I have almost a full page of fossils that I haven't touched because again, I wanted to save it for the stream. Uh, I got some more KK uh, albums, KK Fusion, KK Disco, uh, Imperial KK, Go KK Racer, Mountain Music, and another KK Rock. I, I, I wasn't sure if I had KK Rock to the begin with, so I ended up getting it again. Is that a whale shark? That is a whale shark. I have a few extra fish in here. I have two colacants. I have some sucker fish, uh, a saw shark, a hammerhead, blue marlin. I made so many, like me and Kaylin, me and my girlfriend basically spent the last week no lifing this game when it comes to fishing. And um, that's the progression that I'm going to show you guys when we get to Menagerie Museum. But that's basically my house right now. I'm pretty sure it's a drastic improvement since the last time you guys saw the video um, or the last video or the last stream that I did of it. I have not caught a string fish yet. I'm going to see if my girlfriend can open up her island so I can so I can go to her island and try to get it because it's in her northern hemisphere and I'm in the southern hemisphere, so I can't get it on my island right now. Um, I think I can only get it in june like for me all right but anyways uh i've also done a bit of progress with some of the villagers i've put down some of the houses that tom nook wanted me to for figuring out what villagers want to move in i have only been to one mystery island and it was an awful mystery island i um it it, it didn't offer me anything that my island itself didn't already have so but however i did get a villager her name was sydney she was like a koala bear so she's eventually gonna join my island whenever i decide to follow through with um with finishing up the rest of this quest for tom nook so i made my decision P yeah, yeah i saw that you mentioned that you ended up getting persona which is good i mean hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you play through it this time around to completion <laughs> But, um, thank you for, for resubbing, Josh. I appreciate it. 39, uh, 34 months, rather. That's really great. I, I definitely appreciate the support. So, this is the second house over here. And then I believe the third house... Actually, let me see. The third house is... Yeah, so the third house is actually on the, the upper side part. <clears throat> So I have this little DIY desk right here because I was fishing so much that I was like, okay, I just really want to try and see if I can just get clams, get bait, and keep fishing for anim- Oh my gosh. Mama Oxus? I, is that how you say your name? Thank you so much for the five additional gifted subs. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... All right, give me one second. Let me see if I can figure out what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you the pro... Okay, first off, LaBelle's here, so let's talk to her. LaBelle, it's good to see you. All right, she's going to give me, like, a fashion challenge. Sure, why not? Wonderful, let's get to it. I'd like you to show me a party outfit. Saw you and your friends were going to a fancy soiree. Oh, say you and your friends are going... To a fancy soiree just imagine the fabulous clothes you'd wear they give you party clothes so you give you an idea of what to look like interesting she's all about that fashion oh a business coat oh okay so like a fancy dancy schmancy pantsy party i see all right i mean i'll figure that out eventually uh i got the tom nooks uh i'm sorry the nooks cranny updated store which i assume you get this by just constantly buying stuff from the nook twins um nothing in my game said for sure how it was that i got it i just did um ooh, a basketball okay we got a basketball we have a gasoline container 
We have a we are open sign. A diner neon sign. Why would I ever <laughs> I kind of feel like that would... You know what? I'm going to buy it. You never know what you'll need it for until you need it. And then you wish you had it. Is that a bidet? Is this a bidet? A squat toilet. Yep, that is a bidet. Wait, is that a... Is that a bidet or is that a squat toilet? Doesn't a bidet just clean you? What the heck is this? A loon? Isn't that like thread cloth or something like that? Alright, not a lot of stuff here that I want. I do need some medicine because I'm looking all kinds of... I'm looking all kinds of ridiculous right now with this eye. <laughs> I'll just buy one. Yeah, it's a toilet? Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Red mums bag, red cosmic bag. Okay, so I have red flowers, white flowers, and yellow flowers right now. And I think the combination of those three are what make the other flowers that you see in the game, like orange and black and stuff like that. Do axes still break? Yes. In fact, how you get the golden axe in this game is you have to break 40 axes. Which one axe takes 40 swings in order to break. So that's a lot of axes you gotta go through. Um, but yes, axes do eventually break. Flimsy axes break faster than regular axes. And then the golden axe, I believe, is unbreakable. So there's that. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Oh, um, oop. hold on. I already think I have this bug, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to catch it anyway. What are you? Yep. Okay. I already got it. Citrus longhorn beetle. All right. Can never be too sure. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to go back to my house rustle up all of my fish and bring them to uh the museum to kind of update my museum and show you guys the progress that i've made on that also really quick for those who are wondering i have 68,590 nook miles probably gonna push that to 69,000. nice <laughs> 69,000 nook miles and it's gone 72,000 nook miles why do I have that many Nook Miles? How do I have that many Nook Miles? Because the islands in this game are absolute trash. And I don't spend my Nook Miles on anything. So I have 73,000. I've gone to one island. It was the one that Nook, like, gives you for, like, a freebie ticket. And, uh, I did not like it at all. I despised it, in fact. So I just didn't want to go to any more. And so, um... I mean, I have all the Nook Miles that I want now, and, you know, hopefully I can make some progress and eventually do that, because I've been seeing some... I, I love... Let me just say really quick, I absolutely love Animal Crossing Twitter. Like, all of, like, the memes and the videos coming out of that, like Tarantula Island and Money Island and the things that people are creating in this game is astounding, and uh, it makes me wish that I was way more creative than I actually am. Oh, no! That's my medicine! I need that! But, um, it's really nice. Oh, also, I have some mail. Kaylin got me a gift. Ooh, happy home society. Hello? Congratulations. To, ce to celebrate the addition of your home, please accept this gift. Okay. All right, so we got a gift from the happy home society. Uh, some furniture items come with additional bonuses. Earn things like a gold trophy or a photo that is a token of island friendship. Um, be sure to cherish it. Okay. Oh, Tank got me something. You're kidding me, Arnie Diz. Two floors? That's mind-blowing. <laughs> uh, you have got to get a hot tub and a sauna in your place. Can you think of the of anything better than a day at the spa after a workout? Because I can't. Oh, I got you something. Steamed tank. Yo, tank's heated that I actually have nice things in my house. I thought you'd like this. Cheer up, Kaylin. All right, so that was from... Ka uh, that was from my girlfriend. She got me a little something. I love the fact that if I see something that Kaylin might like, I can just buy it from... Uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. I'm sorry that I'm jumbling all over the place. It's kind of hard for me to kind of follow up on everything. Also, Mama Ox... Mama, um... Oxus, thank you so much again for the two additional gifted subs. I appreciate it. I got the Able Sister Shop as well. Um, I forgot... Is her name Label? Oh, no, no, no. What is it? Eight Sable... Mabel. Okay, so she ended up coming here. 
She was like, take a fine look at my wares. I bought everything. And then she's like, yo, I have enough money to actually plant my feet in this place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, is that a kimono? A flashy kimono. See, this is the thing. Like, this is the stuff that I would buy and be like, hey, I really like this. I'm gonna send this to Kaylin. And then you can go to the airport and you can send, I think, two letters per day or two letters within a certain amount of time uh, with an item attached to it. It can't be fish and it can't be bugs, but I do like that little feature because I thought the only way that she can get things from me and vice versa is if we physically went to the other person's island. Ooh, look at this. I like this shirt. I'm gonna buy it. Hold on. I will buy. I also... Okay, so here's something that I don't like about the game. And you guys can you guys can weigh in your opinion on this if you want. I don't like how everything is a one at a time system. I don't like how you can only make one fish bait at a time. I don't like it how Calm I can't down. mass buy Talk items. I have to buy money. everything at once. I don't like how clams don't stack. <laughs> I don't like how you have to make the flimsy axe first and then the, the, the better axe even if you have the ingredients to bypass the first step to the second step. There are so many quality of life things that I hope that they improve on. And I know the game's only been out for like two weeks, but like I've been, I've, I've put, look at this, look at this shit, okay? Look at this. I've put 70 hours into this game, okay? A lot of the glaring issues are very apparent that far in, and it's, it's, it's more annoying at this point to, that I still have to deal with it or the fact that they never realized like that it wasn't that it was a, a complete oversight for them um and that's just all I that's all that I kind of that's those are my main critiques for the game right now um and to not and to have oh yeah and you have to you can't sort out your bag like with the press of a button you have to manually move everything it doesn't sort it for you the same way it sorts out say your apartment uh your apartment storage and then you have to leave and then go back in. I really think a lot of this stuff just pads the game time. Like I've been playing for 70 hours. I wouldn't be surprised if five of those hours has just been stuff like that, like minor stuff that just piles up. But um, that's not to say I hate the game or anything. I, 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 I definitely enjoy, the, oh, that was my fault. I definitely enjoy the game, but like, I don't know. Some of this stuff seems like it'll drastically improve the quality of the game but it'll also make things go a lot faster and i'm wondering if that's if that's the case maybe if that's why they're not doing it oh i like <laughs> look at my character yo work it work it oh get it yo 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 hey <laughs> i like these kimonos a color yellow oh i really like this look at these cyber suits <laughs> Yo, he's strutting, he's working his stuff. <laughs> I wish there was a red cyber suit. Kind of reminds me of like the Power Rangers. What the heck? Oh, like the headgear. I'm about to get into the ring with somebody. Oh my God! They have square black glasses. I've been waiting for this shit forever. Also, you can stack items as long as they're not in the same category. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so happy. I have black square glasses and I've been coming to this shop every day hoping that I see more like than the same ones that I see because I had to get black oval shaped but I have black square ones. I'm actually really really happy about that. <laughs> Maybe a little too happy. Okay, so I'm going to buy Ooh, I like these work boots. All right, so I'm going to buy the business shoes. I'm going to buy the sweater. Oh, I already bought the sweater. I'm gonna buy the glasses. Fucking, <laughs> fucking gas mask, really? I'll buy the gas mask. I'll buy the red kimono for Kaylin. Cause I really, I really like the red one. I think that one would look really great with her, with her character. And I think, I think that'll be everything for now. Sweet. <clears throat> also, I didn't mean to put those on myself. <laughs> Anyways, also, why the hell did those glasses protrude out of my face? What what the heck? Those look way different than the other ones. I actually like the other ones better. Those don't look normal. And they're like hovering off of my face. That looks so weird. Anyways, 
let's 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 be on our way. All right, I'm I'm just wearing a kimono very briefly. Keep the kimono on for the rest of the stream. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. I I uh I don't know. This is actually a gift from my girlfriend. It's not even. Sp I'm wearing her gift right now. It's not a good look. <laughs> um. All right, Kitsuki. That's fine. Yo, buy me a pair. I, I actually like the other ones way better, so I might actually just, like, give this to you. <laughs> All right, so let's open my gifts first off, because it's been a while. Ooh, a rice cooker! I need a rice cooker in real life. I think I said that in my last stream. All right, a simple kettle. And Kaylin got me... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop you a gift if you're watching the stream right now. All right, let's open this. A bottled ship. Let's put that over here. Can we, can we put that on top of here? Place item. Okay, you can't. Uh, where can I place this? Hold on. I just bought a desk, I think. Did I buy a desk? I think I bought a desk. Let's see. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Before all of this fish. It's up, it's up top. Um, okay. Bought a desk. Um... I have to get my old clothes back. Yeah, let's grab that. Where are my pants? <laughs> my pants! Which pants was I wearing? I don't remember. Hold on, let me sort this. There we go. Right here. Oval glasses. High tops. Yeah, okay, I think that's everything. There's a rice cooker for 30 bucks on Amazon. Oh, thank you. I, I keep forgetting, but I need to buy one. Okay. Let me let me let me change my outfit. This is this ain't it, chief. All right, let's put these on. I don't know why, but these actually see like these don't hover. These are way closer to my face than the other one. So I feel like that's why I like them. I can actually see my eyeballs. All right, let's put all these other clothes back on. I, I meant to put the other one on anyway. Okay. Let's give him his high top feet, his high tops. Okay. Okay, I think we're good here. All right, message in a bottle, what do we got? A, a wild wood wall. Interesting. I'll take it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put these resources back for now. Uh, I guess I'll just put the rest of this stuff away. Thank you for the for the Thank you for the uh, the bottled Ship Kalen. I will definitely find a place for it when I'm ready to furnish my apartment But for now, it's gonna go the way of everything else. I'm also gonna send you that flashy kimono uh, Just because I feel like it would really go well with your character look you gonna need a war? Uh, are you gonna need a wardrobe? Uh, I do have one in my room, like uh, a dresser with all of my clothes in it. If I want to change my clothes. <clears throat> all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so what I want to do right now, so I can actually clear my entire inventory without needing to go to. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta go outside really quick. I need to take off all of my items and switch them for all of the fish and the bugs that I want to bring to the museum right now. Why not house items? Wait, why don't house items have thumbnails? They're just leaves? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just more assets that they felt like they didn't want to have to make. I don't know. It's, it's a little difficult for some of the stuff in the game right now. Like, just the quality of life would just improve so much if we actually got icons like this, for example, like you said. Like, we'd actually know what the hell we're, uh... We know what we're looking for and what we're looking at when we're decorating and stuff like that. But again, I don't want to feel like I'm... I don't want this to be like I'm, like, shitting on the game because I, I really do enjoy it. These are just general things that would make the game a lot more bearable for people who are doing repetitive tasks over and over and over again. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab all of the fish that I think 
aren't in my hold on let me just grab okay emperor let me grab that one so i'm gonna grab every insect that i have that i think i haven't put in my um in my museum just yet I, I made sure to get extras just because after a while I I know the mosquito definitely wasn't the centipede wasn't uh, Okay, the bitterling The pale chub the koi fish the crawfish the tadpole uh, The goby. I think I have the goby already. I know I have the crab king salmon and whatever Whatever I have at the end If it's still in my inventory, then I'll just sell it Saddled bitcher, I need that. The sturgeon. Surgeon fish. Butterfly fish. Okay, so my inventory is full right now. So this is going to be a constant back and forth. Yeah, I can check which ones aren't in the museum, but that's a constant, like, I have to check every single fish. I, I just feel like it's very, um, I feel like the process would be a lot slower than if I just grab a bunch of stuff and see what fits and what doesn't or what's here and what isn't. Um, it'll just be a lot simpler for me. And whatever I have that is already here, then I'll just drop them off in the drop-off box. Yo, what's going on, Blathers? Long time no see, buddy. Yes, I would like to make a donation. Okay, so not everything. All of these... Confirm. All right, splendid. I will take those off of your hands. Is there anything else? No. Okay, so let's see what was low. So most of these are already there. Most of these are already there. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to drop them off in the drop off. I'm actually going to send them to the Nook Twins because I'll get way more money out of them than any than if I just kept them around like that. All right. <clears throat> let's go back here where I will make a selling purchase. Um, did you catch a whale shark in Great White? Yes, I did. I caught a whale shark, a Great White, a Sun Ocean fish, a hammerhead shark, a blue marlin. Like, all of the rare fish were on my island in March. Like, the Southern Hemisphere in March when this game released was the best time for fish catching. Like, I have a Dorado, I have an Arowana, I have a sturgeon, an extra sturgeon, an extra surgeon fish. Like, all of this shit was incredibly lucrative like me and Kaylin made so much money off of our island this month off of my island rather her island was trash because she's in the northern hemisphere but um but yeah I made an absolute killing off of my fish like not even my bugs like I barely messed with bugs it was all about the fish like watch this like look how much money I'm gonna make just off of this 47k off of basic shit you know what I mean like now if we get into the big fish right the, the the sharks the um you know the calicanths like all of that stuff like Kaylin made over a hundred thousand a hundred thousand bells off of one shipping trip here um fishing on my island and um yeah I, I i don't know we popped off we made so much progress i don't know why i came back here i'm supposed to go to my house to get more stuff um Let's see. Uh, thank you for gifting me a subscription. Oh, I didn't gift you the subscription. It was someone in the chat. Uh, I mean, I think it tells you who gifted it to you. But uh, that one guy, yeah, that's that was from the generosity of someone in the chat or someone during the stream. Most likely, at least today, Mama Oxist was the one that was has been gifting quite a few subs. So just double check and be sure to greet them accord, uh, thank them accordingly. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Why didn't I sell these two? Did I forget? Okay, that was weird. Okay, I have an extra 20k bells. Um, okay, anyways, I'll just I'll just grab more stuff and we'll go from there. All right, let's see. All right, butterfly fish, turkey. Okay, blue marlin definitely need that. Giant trevally. Sun ocean fish. I already have sun ocean fishes in the museum. I'm just going to sell these guys. Whale shark. I need one of them for there. I have a great white. I'm just going to sell that. Hammerhead shark needs to go. Saw shark needs to go. Uh, stingray. Another whale shark. Oh my god. Sucker fish. Cola canth. So I'm going to keep one cola canth and I'm going to keep one koi fish. Those are the two fish 
out of all of these that I actually want to keep for myself. Um, I don't really know about the rest, but those are the fish that I really like and that I want to have long term. All right, let's see. All right, let's see how these fish do now. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to get way more like and, and this is obviously a testament to how good my island was. And unfortunately, today is the last day of March and a vast majority of the fish that I have here are all going away. Um, the sharks are all going away. The rare and like the rare and uh, like expensive fish like the Dorados and the arowanas are going away so that's really unfortunate oh coelacanth okay i i can't pronounce anything to save my life i'm sorry <laughs> fort from japan thank you so much for tuning in glad to have you in the chat okay make a donation let's see what we can donate wow a lot of them actually okay oh you know what it was i think i had extra of the uh, of the two that were stuck in my inventory and I think that's why he ended up just giving those back so whale shark saw shark coelacanth suckerfish okay these are the ones that he wants to accept right now okay let me just double check and make sure okay I don't Oh, let me just double check that. I think he just said, no, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have any. All right, that's fine. So then I'm going to take the rest of these back to the Nook shop and, and sell them for a profit and see how that goes. Yeah, don't forget the sucker fish. Yeah, I have like five sucker fish in my, in my, uh, in my house right now. So I think this is a good excuse to kind of get through them. And then after this, after I go through this entire process of selling and donating... I'm going to show you guys my overall um, progress of my of the Menagerie Museum. All right, let's sell these bad Larrys. <sighs> okay, what do you guys put? Put your predictions in the chat right now. How much money do you think I'm going to make off of these fish? Let's uh, let's see what we come to. All right, let's see. A hundred thousand? No, six hundred thousand. You're crazy, dude. I don't think a hundred thousand. Maybe I'll say. I'll say seventy thousand. I'll say seventy thousand. Oh, <laughs> ninety six, dude. My island is goaded. I swear to God, this. I had the best island for fish. When this game came out, absolute, absolutely crazy. And that's just fish that were chilling in my fucking house that I didn't even like. It was just sitting on 100k for fish right now. How much is that so far? That's 110,000 bells that we just made off of those two trips. Yeah, I was close. I was obviously off. I was, un uh, you know, I was, I was sandbagging at that point. Um. Okay, so let's see next <laughs> okay let's just put the rest of these oh wait okay everything but the koi fish and the coelacanth those are the two fish that i actually really like and want to keep so we'll do that and i guess now we'll start with fossils because i have to accept i have to assess all of these fossils and then i have to see which ones get approved and and which ones don't so we're gonna do this and then at the same time this is gonna free up a shit ton of inventory space for me in my house because again this takes up a lot of space overall so let's go back again and do this one more time shall we also i i do appreciate you guys all tuning in and, and being in the chat i have 144 of you guys that's absolutely insane so uh i greatly appreciate the support um and i hope you guys are thoroughly entertained with my <laughs> with my island escapades as of right now. Yeah, and then I'll show you guys my entire progress of, of my of my museum in all three sections, because there is quite a bit of progress that I've made. And uh, I've managed to get all of my fish and all of my bugs, no time travel so far. Um, I am the type of person that doesn't mind time traveling, especially if I want everything right now. 
I don't really know if this is a game that, I mean, I'll come back for the events and stuff like that, but I, I just don't have the mental capacity to like mark on my calendar. Okay. I have to come back in six real months to catch this one fish for my collection. Um, you know, it's, it's just personally, that's just how I, how I, um, how I want to, how I choose to experience the game. Okay, so I, the fish and the bugs that I have right now aren't going to do anything. Okay. Have him assess all of these. Also, I personally just don't have time like that, right? Like, I have YouTube videos. I stream. I make YouTube videos. I spend time with friends and family. Um, you know, I have a long-distance relationship. I just don't have, like... I want to be able to put as much time and effort into this game as much as I can. And obviously play it on the, you know, play it in my spare time with, with my girlfriend. But uh, I've just been super, I've been hyper-focused on fish more than anything since I've been playing. All right, let's see. What do I got? What do I got? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Dinosaur tracks. Mammoth. All right, I can't really stop to pronounce all of these. Ooh, Iguanodon tail. Nice. Okay. Made a big contribution there to the fossils. So now I'm going to go back. Do I basically have to do one more trip. Sell what I have on my person. Go back for the rest of the fossils. And I think what I'm going to do today, because I'm sitting on like 75,000 nook miles at this point, uh, we're going to go to a couple of mystery islands, and I'm going to try to see if I can interact with two more villagers to kind of see if I can recruit them to my island. And then we're going to finish up the rest of these uh, these villager houses for Tom Nook. Uh, so that way these villagers can start moving in, and then we can start making progress on the town hall, the bridges, Isabel joining, uh, and all of that other stuff. Uh, KK Slider. Kaylin's way further than I am in terms of her island progression. Uh, whereas I'm focusing more on catching fish than actually progressing the overall goals of, of the island for 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 endgame. Okay, let's sell all of these. All right, chat, make your predictions. How much money is your boy going to make off all of this? I'm going to say a ripe 40k. 35, not bad. So I just made 150,000 bells so far. A hunt. Look at look how much money I have on me now. I have quarter of a million bells already. <laughs> That's insane. All right, let's uh, let's run it back one more time. Empty. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna put my money in the bank just so I can free up that inventory space. I don't need that much money on me either. So <clears throat> I'm broke AF. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Tom Nook, what's going on, buddy? Well, hello there, Arnie Diz. You're home has two beautiful stories now oh okay so he's talking about the interior deck of the house okay the 1.248 million bells for that next upgrade ladies and gentlemen absolute oh you can you can customize your house so that's kind of cool just pick up the mailbox with y and place it wait oh i can move my mailbox i like it where it is though I like the mailbox where it is. I don't need to move anything. Okay. Shout out to the amount of Nook Miles. I have 73,640. Okay, let's see. Uh, Deposit. 200,000. There we go. That should free up those two inventory slots that I have. And now I have to sit and just wait and slowly rack up whatever money I can for this next this next house loan. That's going to be absolutely insane. <laughs> Where's my fucking money? Yeah, I know, right? Oh. What's going on, hamburger hamburger lady? All right. Anyways, let us continue. <laughs> Where's my money, man? Where's my money, Stewie Griffin? Yeah. <laughs> That's Nook. That's uh, Tom Nook in this game. Okay. Uh, let's go back in. Grab the rest of these. And then <laughs> we can move on with our lives. All right. Get the rest of these. Will I have room for my accessories? Okay, I, I should. I should have room for the general accessories that I need now. The axes and fishing poles and things of that nature. 
All right. Um, X watering slingshot vaulting pole. Okay. There we go. I also got an ocarina. I didn't make this myself. Kalen gave it to me. And I know that you can get really creative with, uh, also I made a hundred bait yesterday just because like fishing has pushed me to the ends of, of the earth with the amount of, uh, with how desperate I want these last couple of fish for my, for my gold fishing rod. You should sell those weeds. Ah! Favorite KK song? I haven't listened to any of the KK songs. I've just used them as decor in my house, to be quite honest. Um, one thing that I really admire and enjoy and appreciate about this game, and I'm super envious about with Kalen, is that at this point, the fucking island music is driving me crazy. It's the same guitar strum, the same tune, the same vibe, constantly. But then Kaylin told me, and I've been to her island, so it's already confirmed that after you get the city hall, your island music changes every hour. And I went to her island, and I was so impressed with the music that was playing there versus the same music that I keep hearing over and over and over again here. So I kind of want to hurry up and finish like this entire like fishing mini game sequence that I'm going through just so I can get that better music because <laughs> I'm telling you man this music is literally like rip making me want to like rip the hair out of my head the hair that I'm trying to grow mind you but uh okay let's see let's see how much progress we've made on the fossils Make a donation. Let's see, let's see. Ah, it's not that much. Oh, a T-Rex tail. That's pretty cool. Spino tail. Yeah, I thought we'd make way more progress than that. I was going to say, do certain fossils only show up in certain hemispheres? I mean, that would make sense geographically, but at the same time, that would be incredibly annoying. To be like, not only do you have to worry about certain fish and certain bugs in certain hemispheres, but also fossils. It's like, come on now, really? So yeah, I'm going to sell these and then I'm going to show you guys Menagerie Museum. And uh, at that point, I will start making some progress on these villagers. Just because Lord knows I need to. <laughs> okay, let's sell the rest of these. How much? 28k. Not bad, man. I made almost 200,000 bells on this single, like, the single transfer of my, of my, um, of my museum donations, which is pretty dope. All right. Sunset is setting in. All right. So now, also, first off, let me go in my Nook phone and check out my all of my Nook Mile progress. All right, 74,240. I wanted to wait until I got 100,000, but seeing how I'm streaming, I feel like that's not gonna be possible. So, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you on a grand tour to see the entire progress of my museum and everything and all the progress that I've made in my Critterpedia as well. Um, I haven't made that much progress in either department. What? Why is this bug just chilling here? Get out of here. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I also like that the museum has three different renditions of this. Or well, four, technically. Four different renditions of the music for the museum. I think it's really cool. Um, these are all the bugs that I've caught so far. Shout out to the Atlas Moth right here. I remember the reaction I had when I caught this bad boy and I was like, wait, is winter here? She'll love this moth. It's great. <laughs> so yeah, the Atlas moth shout out. Like I said, I haven't made a lot of progress to the bugs or the fossils, to be quite honest. Um, the biggest amount of progress that I've made for the museum is undoubtedly the, uh, undoubtedly the, oh, look at my koi fish. Look at the koi fish right there. Has been the fish. Um, has ultimately been the fish. And that's kind of cool. I didn't know that the fish 
run through the other museum sections as well. See, look at that. It's right there, right under the bridge where I'm at. Oh, I have multiple ones. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so that's the first section. We've got the water bugs right there too. Sweet. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Kalen? Hey, can you open your island for me later? I love this room right here. This is such a great room with just all the butterflies and or moths flying around and doing their own thing. The music is really nice too. I really like it. <laughs> I don't have all the butterflies just yet, but I, I'm very impressed with this room in particular. I just like how, and then at night they're just all sleeping. Like there's barely any of them flying about. I have people coming over right now because of, uh, oh, because of the turnips. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um, I, I mean, I can do it after the stream too. I just want to try to get that string fish by the end of the night. All right, let's move on. I'll open it for best friends specifically after. Okay, just let me know when then. And uh, make sure you at me so I can see it in the chat a little better. I have not caught a string fish yet. That's the last fish of the month that I actually need. Um, and I'm like desperately trying to get it. Can you guys hear this music? Music is so good. Okay. Ooh, look at that. The cocoon stage. Got some... Mos I, I assume those are the mos mosquitoes. Yep, right there. And the, the paper kite butterfly. Nice, nice. Alright, so that is the bug exhibit. Now we're going to move on to the fossil exhibit, which I really, really like as well. The music in this game is so calm. It's so calm and relaxed. It really is... It's just very tranquil, I think is the best is the best uh, way to, to, to describe it. I wouldn't doubt that there's already like hundreds, if not millions of views on the music of this. Like if whoever, if people ripped it from YouTube already. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I love it. I also like the display, how they display the fossils here. It almost kind of looks like a, a tree of life thing. Like it starts at the base here and then it just expands out to all of these different life forms and, you know, prehistoric creatures that have come before. And even though it's like straining off, it's still like the path still continues on into the next room. It's kind of like we're all connected, you know? Um, I don't know if I like read too much into that, but I think it's super cool. Yo! These are coming together! Wow, this is actually really impressive. I don't think I have any of these fully finished just yet, but this is way more impressive than what it looked like before you guys got here. Oh, I think that one's done. What's that one? Hold on, let me see. Uh, the Stegosaurus. I think we finished this one completely. Does it have all... Yeah, four legs. It's head, it's tail, it's body, it's torso. Sweet. Yeah, so that one doesn't have like its finished tail. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we're going to head up here really quick. Oh, the pterodactyl. The Terrax. <laughs> the Terex Grim from Ruby. Oh, boy. Oh, the Triceratops. I'm pretty sure the T-Rex is in the middle. Also, I, I'm a big fan of this right here, the Meteor. I'm, uh, I'm a really big fan of this. This little display here, it's like... Get wrecked, dinosaurs. Meteor 1, dinosaurs 0. So yeah, so that's the first section. Well, this is the second section of the, the fossil area. I, I'm actually really surprised by the... Uh, by the... Oh, look at this. The mammoth. The saber tooths. Nice. I also know, I figured this out too. Kaylin actually told me this and my mind was actually, like, my mind was actually blown away. But you have like these different silhouettes of different um, villagers, like the cat villager, the dog villager, the bear villager, giraffe, rhino, pig, all that stuff, the bunny, monkey. And then if you stand on this one right here, this represents you, the human. And I was like, what? That's so cool. Like the light goes on for you and everything. That's super cool, man. And and it shows like the human line goes and connects to this human or this this uh this early ancestor skull. Um and this also reminds me of like 
the Lucy skull. If you guys remember like seventh grade social studies, right? Lucy named after Lucy in the sky with diamonds, like one of the first like early ancestral skulls found like in early like architect, uh, not architect, um, like archeological digs and stuff like that. Um, I was really like surprised by that. I was like, holy shit. And then like all of these tie together in some way, shape or form, which is super cool. But uh, anyways, that is the fossil room. Very, very, very impressed by it uh, and the progress that I've made. It's going to take me a while, though, just because fossils are hard to come by. You can only get a certain amount per day. And uh, those were ones that I've been hoarding for the last like week and a half. So I think you can get maybe like four or five fossils on your island per day. Uh, and then if you go to your friend's island, if they let you if they let you get theirs, then, you know, that helps out, too. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to go to the fishing room, but first I'm going to show off my Critterpedia really quick. And so these are all the bugs that I've caught so far. Uh, like I said, once I show you guys my fishing Critterpedia, it's a drastic like night and day. I think there are 80 bugs and 80 fish. I did catch the scorpion though. I've caught a lot of these other bugs. I don't have tarantulas in my, in my hemisphere just yet. So of course... Um, you know, everybody else is doing videos of like, hey, Tarantula Island, look how much money I can make off of this. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here like, yeah, I guess that's cool, <laughs> you know? So this is my bug collecting. Not that much of an improvement. I still don't really know how to get most of the bugs, but this is my fishing progress. I am 14 fish away from having every fish in the game. 14! Mind you, a couple of them I can still get in my island, like the anchovy and the golden trout I can still get in my island. I'm going to try to get the string fish from Kaylin's island today because today is the last day that I can get it. I have like, ele like 11, 10 hours to try to get it, but I've gotten all of these fish between my island and my girlfriend's island, and we coordinated it really well too because when the Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct came out... um. We like they mentioned too. They're like, oh, you can start the game in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, and you can get certain species of fish and bugs depending on which one you're from. So I was like, you know, we basically were like, hey, we should both cover like one of us should get northern, one of us should get southern, because then we can help each other out, and that's how we've been doing it. So a lot of the fish that I got have been from her island, and well, most of them have been from my island, and then a bunch of them have been from hers, and vice versa. So, um, I've made a whole lot of progress without having to time travel. Cause I feel like if we were both on Northern hemisphere, we'd be fucked. And if both of us were on Southern hemisphere, we'd have most of the fish, but there were some fish that we could have only gotten in the Northern hemisphere at this time. So overall, really happy about it. Really happy. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fish left. 13 12 11 technically if i can get the three fish that i need today the the anchovy the gold trout and the string fish i will need 11 fish left and uh, i still don't know how to get some of those fish i'm pretty sure i'm gonna need to be like in the winter time uh like where it's snowing and stuff like that so that might be when i need to time travel but who knows i'm not i'm not entirely sure just yet this is without a doubt the best aquarium like this is like the best music. I absolutely love it, man. It's so awesome. Look at this. I just love the water and the lighting and the way the light hits the water. Oh, I didn't know you could sit over here. That's nice. I did not know you can sit over here. You can see my betta fish over there. I think that's an angel fish, too. So we got that. Oh, the koi fish are in this area, too. That's really cool. I didn't know that. So we got koi fish, the catfish, the turtles, the... I think that's the, the carp, the black bass, the crawfish, uh, the crayfish, or the crawfish, the sturgeon, the salmon and the king salmon, tilapia, cherry salmon, the dace. I've caught so many of these fish, I just know what they look like on site now. The arowana, that big fish over there that I don't know how to pronounce his name because it's way too long. I think that's the Dorado, the golden one right there. Nice. All right, moving into the next area. 
Good luck with the string fish. It's been driving me crazy. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to need all the... Oh, that's cool. Last time I came here, I only had the shark and the, the giant sea of fish that are swimming around. That's so sick. Now we got the whale shark, the uh, the sun... Oh, okay, so the blue marlin, uh, the sucker fish, the ocean sunfish, the whale shark, um, the giant trevally... I don't know what the uh, what that tiny fish is over what these some of these tiny fish are. That's so cool. That's a really cool improvement. Oh, nice. I was wondering when the angler fish or the football fish would get another deep sea fish with it. So we have the coelacanth here and the football fish, aka the angler. Nice. I like the progress that was made on this room for sure. All right, so I'm gonna run through over here. <laughs> I like this area too. Like one, two, three, four, five. So you can have five of your friends all sticking their faces through this little, these little pockets. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to go through here. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the last room. Oh yeah. You can check the panels. Yeah. I'm aware. I'm just trying to see if I can memorize the fish that I've gotten. So these are the, the sea butterflies. I think these are called. So there's those. Um, butterfly fish, uh, clown fish, surgeon fish, and then the rest of these guys are in the, the underwater display. The manta ray, the, oh, this is so awesome, dude. The manta ray, the hammerhead shark, the red snapper. Uh, some of these fish I don't remember. Oh, the, the zebra turkey fish right there, I see you. Nice. Oh, the horsey right there. The seahorse, rather. I said horsey like it's a Pokemon. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, the piranha. Yeah, I completely... I caught the piranha one, once in my river. Like It was like a fluke catch. I was just like, eh, I guess I'll catch this fish. And I was really surprised that it was a piranha of all fish. Nice. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is my... That is, in a nutshell... Menagerie Museum. Hope y'all enjoyed it so far. We have a lot more progress to make, of course, but uh, I'm actually really happy with the amount of progress that I've made. And this is where most of my 70 hours of playtime has come from, uh, has been hyper-focusing on the fish. And I'm just like, screw you, Tom Nook. Screw your loans. Screw these other villagers in their houses. I just want to focus on me right now. And, uh, but now I, um... But now I'm actually like really happy to kind of get on board with finishing the rest of this other stuff out and, and finishing and improving my house. Uh, I need apples, by the way. I have cherries, I have peach, I have cherry trees. I, I planted a bunch of peach trees. I have been given pears and oranges from Kaylin as well, as well as her peaches. So I have those three from her. So I think apples are the only ones that I have left. Um, and then I'll have all the fruit in the game. I'm not, like, antsy to get it. Like, I, I don't need it. Because I know I can still, like, talk to other people that might have the, the things that I need. Well, let me see. All right, I'm just gonna move these resources up top. Just because, you know, it'd be great if I could do that with the push of a button. But what wonderful times we live in. <laughs> What's with the money bag tree? Uh, so, every day... Every day, there will spawn a golden spark on your ground. And if you dig it up, it will always be 1,000 bells that you get. And uh, I can actually find one right now just to illustrate my point. Because the first time I, I saw it, I didn't know this. I didn't know it at the time. But hold on, let me dig up this fossil. Um, I didn't know this the first time that I dug up the golden spot. I, I just dug it up. I was like, holy shit, 1,000 bells. Woohoo. And I went on with my life. But... I soon found out that if you put money back into that golden hole up to 10,000 bells uh, and you wait a couple of days, you will get three times the amount you put in that hole. So if you put, for example, 10,000 bells in the hole, after four to five days, you will get 30,000 bells back. And it's a one-time deal for the tree, like the money doesn't grow back on the tree, but every like the golden spark will always appear on your ground once per day. So, um, let's see. 
Um, so I'm just gonna try to find it right now because it'll, it'll appear somewhere on your island. It's not guaranteed where it'll appear. Um, but that's also the other thing too. You can't just put your money in any random hole and expect to get a money tree. It has to be the golden spark on the ground. Arnold needs to come to my island for the fish. Wait, right now or? Oh, your town's open. Okay, okay. Um, give me a second. I will try to do that momentarily. I am in the middle of something right now, so you're just gonna have to give me a second. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to find this gold spark. <laughs> Cause now I'm like committed to finding where it is. Or maybe I already got it. I don't know if I already got it or not. Hold on, let's, uh, let's look on these higher levels. Alright, not here. Oh, uh, we have some... We have some weeds growing up back here, so I'm gonna have to take care of those. Alright, let's see. Ah! Get this. It might be on my... The east side of my island, actually. So... Um, oh. <clears throat> you have a New Leaf Town? Uh, no, I never played New Leaf. Never played New Leaf, unfortunately. Uh, I did play Wild World, and I, I, I enjoyed that game very much. Okay, so I'm gonna do one of these. Maybe it's over here? Fingers crossed, maybe? Kinda, sorta? If it's not here, then I just wasted a bunch of time, but I I have no idea where it could be if I can't find it right now. <clears throat> All right. All right, Kaylin, I am on my way. Hopefully, it'll be well worth it. <laughs> I gotta go back to my house and grab a bunch of, uh, a bunch of bait because this is gonna be a process. But I can get the golden trout and I can try to get the, 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 the string fish. So the string fish is a large fish and the golden trout is a, a medium fish. So, oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, wait, where'd, the, where'd these fossils come from? But, hello. All right, hold on, give me a second. Um, actually, you know what? I'll put these in my inventory and I'll deal with that another time all right let's see ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we're about to embark Arnold should I join on discord or do you want to fish in peace and quiet uh I mean I don't mind I don't mind either way hold on give me a second two three four five six seven eight nine ten a hundred and one fish bait, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know I'm not screwing around. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a man on a mission, okay? Uh, okay, so I need that. I need that. I don't need the slingshot. I don't need the watering can. I don't need the axe. I'll take the shovel, I guess. Okay, and I'm going to need another fishing pole because Lord knows I'm going to go through a couple during this process, so I'll buy another one. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that's a lot of bait. Well, these fish, the, the, the RNG for some of these fish is a little ridiculous, so it, it kind of like desperate times call for desperate measures, you know what I mean? So, unfortunately, that's kind of the life I have to live when, when, when catching fish in this game. All right. First off, also, I want to buy this basketball because I don't think it'll be here when I, by the time I'm done. So let's just do that. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Buy another fishing pole. All right. We are good to go. Next stop, Cerulea, my girlfriend's island. <laughs> 